In a cramped factory corner, a stack of brass rollers spins just inches from a worker who doesn't see what's coming. In a small workshop cluttered with metal coils and cardboard sheets, a worker, while making a call, steps towards a set of exposed spinning rollers used for feeding or winding brass strips. The machine is running open with no guarding. As the worker leans in to adjust the brass strip, loose fabric brushes the rotating rollers. The exposed rollers seize the material instantly, pulling it downward into the pinch zone and accelerating the feed. The machine surges as the rollers draw in the fabric and twist it between the brass stack and the frame. The uncontrolled rotation sends debris and cardboard shifting across the floor, while the nearby worker reacts to the sudden jam in the open machine. Never ever reach into or lean over exposed rotating rollers without machine guards and a full lockout on every drive that can pull, drag, or entangle. On a loading pad beneath a bright midday sun, a tanker's hatch opens, and the trapped vapors inside are seconds from turning the whole rig into a pressure cannon. A fuel tanker sits parked near an industrial building, and a worker climbs up to the rear hatch. The worker stands directly over the opening point, unaware that residual fumes inside have been heating and building tension. The moment the hatch is cracked open, a hidden ignition source flashes within the vapor pocket. The superheated fumes ignite instantly, sending expanding gases blasting outward in a single violent burst. In less than a heartbeat, a dense black wave of pressure rolls across the concrete pad as the overpressurized tank vents its built-up energy. Flammable vapors inside tankers can ignite with explosive force the moment a hatch is open near any heat source. Do maintain strict no-smoking zones and verify vapor conditions before breaking containment. On a stamping line, two workers lean over a giant press, trying to straighten a sheet. While the machine's next cycle is already counting down. Inside a factory bay, a wide hydraulic press sits at the end of a feed path. Two workers stand on either side of the die, hand-feeding a flexible sheet onto the bed with no guard, no light curtain, and the press still in automatic mode. As they tug the sheet into place, one of the workers leaves to go pick something up while the other stays in the danger zone straightening out the sheet. Without warning, the press begins its programmed stroke. The upper platen drives downward, the gap seals in a single motion, and the open die space transforms into a moving wall of steel as the automatic cycle locks into place. Never ever reach into or hand position material inside an energized press that isn't fully guarded, locked out, or under two-hand control. On the bed of a flatbed truck, a worker stands directly beneath two massive bulk bags. Moments before gravity and swing decide the next move. A crane lowers two heavy industrial bags toward a truck where a worker stands on the load deck. There's no barrier, no tagline control, and the bags hang from a single hook, swaying as the crane operator inches them into place. The worker tries to guide them by hand, leaning forward and raising his arms toward the suspended load. As the crane shifts, the bags swing unexpectedly. The combined weight and momentum drive the suspended load downward and sideways, sweeping across the truck bed with sudden force. The uncontrolled swing turns the tight work zone into a severe crush hazard corridor until the load stabilizes under the hook. Do not stand beneath, near, or in the travel path of any suspended load. Keep distance until it's grounded and under full control. Behind a box truck, two workers shuffle containers into place, unaware that one open door is about to swing with the force of a battering ram. A delivery truck is parked at a loading area. Two workers are lifting and repositioning heavy jerry cans on the tailgate. One rear door is wide open and unsecured, angled outward into the work zone. The other worker steps in close, focused on adjusting the load. A gust of wind or a small shift in truck movement nudges the door. The unlatched door suddenly swings shut with full force, driven by the wind and the truck's slight movement. The metal panel whips across the tailgate zone, slamming inward against the frame. Containers rattle as the door comes to a stop with a heavy impact, snapping the work zone into a narrow, high-risk corridor until everything comes to rest. Never, ever work beside an unsecured truck door Always latch, tie back, or lock doors before loading or unloading. 
on a muddy construction site, a mobile crane strains against a leaning concrete column right before the entire machine begins to tip. The crew is attempting to pull down a tall, heavy structure using a truck-mounted crane positioned on uneven soft ground. Outriggers are deployed, but the load angle is steep and the base soil is clearly unstable. As the crane lifts the large concrete piece, the weight shifts far beyond the safe load radius. The boom drags the crane forward, the outriggers lift off the ground, and the entire machine rises onto its front wheels, then rotates past its balance point, carrying the load and the crane into a full rollover. Don't operate a crane on soft or uneven ground, and always verify that the load angle and radius stay within the crane's rated stability zone. In a busy workshop full of equipment and pressure vessels, one blue barrel suddenly erupts, sending its cover flying like a launch disc. Workers are stationed at benches and machines across a large industrial shop. On the far side, a sealed blue barrel is under some form of internal pressure, heat, chemical reaction, or trapped air. Another worker is focused on his task just a few meters away, unaware of the brewing hazard behind the barrier of equipment. Without warning, the barrel lid blasts upward and outward, propelled by internal pressure. The cover shoots across the workspace like a spinning disc, crossing the aisle and slamming into equipment and guardrails in its path. The impact rings through the shop, scattering tools and highlighting how a single overpressurized container can turn loose hardware into a high-speed projectile. Never, ever work close to a pressurized container without verifying its venting, release path, and structural condition. One quiet street turns chaotic the moment a hidden weakness inside a pressurized hose finally gives way. It's early afternoon on a residential commercial block, hot, bright, and calm. A utility crew is setting up for routine service work beside a sidewalk. One worker positions a tall extension ladder while another manages a supply hose connected to a fuel delivery trailer parked at the curb. The hose, coiled loosely on the pavement, is under pressure from the LP gas trailer behind them. No visible cracks, no leaks, no signs of strain. Without warning, a violent burst of escaping gas erupts from the mid-span of the hose. A roaring white cloud blasts outward, racing across the pavement in seconds. The hose begins whipping uncontrollably, snapping with explosive force as the gas continues to vent. The pressure jet carves a towering plume of vapor into the air, flooding the entire scene with high-velocity discharge. A deteriorated pressurized hose becomes a high-energy release point capable of turning a routine job into a hazardous zone within seconds. So always inspect and pressure test every fuel or gas hose before connecting it to live equipment. In a busy loading bay, one reckless forklift turns a routine pause into a high impact near miss. Inside a warehouse loading area, multiple forklifts are moving in and out of dock doors, shifting pallets and stacks of cardboard. Lines on the floor mark lanes, but traffic is tight and machines are passing within inches of each other. An orange Toyota forklift is stopped in a marked space. Its driver has stepped down and is standing beside it, checking something on the front end, completely focused on the equipment, not on the traffic behind him. From his point of view, he's still with the machine and feels safe in that small island of space. Behind him, another forklift approaches at speed, weaving through the congested area and cutting the corner instead of slowing down. There's no horn, no full stop, and no proper lookout in the direction of travel. The moving forklift clips the stationary truck, twisting it sideways and shoving the equipment across the marked lane. The sudden collision sends pallets wobbling and cardboard skidding as the truck lurches under the impact before the moving forklift finally comes to a halt. A forklift driven too fast and too close in congested areas becomes an uncontrolled striking hazard to anyone on foot even experienced operators standing beside their own parked truck. In a muddy trench, one mistake turns a concrete ring into a free-falling hazard above a worker's head. On a construction site, an excavator is trying to hook and lift a heavy concrete ring. A worker stands in the trench, holding the ring steady by hand so the operator can catch it with the bucket. As the excavator tugs to hook the ring, the load shifts and slips free. The concrete ring drops straight back into the trench, slamming into the muddy floor and striking the trench wall as it lands. 
Anytime a worker stabilizes a suspended or to be lifted load by hand, the load can turn into an uncontrolled crushing hazard if it slips. Keep workers out of the trench and away from the load before lifting. Use taglines, proper rigging, and signal communication, never hands, to steady concrete rings. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.